Yes, people, Man United won Fulham nil, and we totally, totally deserved that one. Yeah, as you can see, the smile on my face, the badge on my chest, man, like Zaxi. You know what I'm saying? Zaxi. <laughs> We're top of the league. Crazy. How long? I don't know. I don't actually care, but please smash the like button. I'm absolutely buzzing with three points. We should have absolutely came them. You know what? When Mont said that we owe the Premier League goals, that match alone showed that we owe the Premier League some goals. Because Garnacho, what was you doing? Uh, it actually been in the back of the net. But I'm not here to criticise all of that. I'm here to talk about the performance. Yeah? Okay? So one minute is gone. Make sure you like and you subscribe. Okay. Let's get into it, man. You know what? Credit to Fulham, minute. They came into our gaff and they rolled up in the first 15, 20 minutes. You know what? They were actually pretty good. You know, I was thinking, ooh, you know what? We look comfortable, but how comfortable do we look in the midfield? You know, misplacing some passes. You know, they were trying to press, force us into some mistakes, uh, going backwards to a Nana. Like, they were doing all right. And then just something changed. Like, the players got a little bit more comfortable. And you know what? To the ones that wanted to doubt my manager, Yeah my manager, yeah? To some of the players that we don't actually favour these days for the majority anyway, speak for myself, you know, is the ones you're probably going to have to big up in the end. You know, Baz Maguire, Casemiro, bro, they all grew into the game the way we needed to. Oh my word, Mazraoui. Wow, what a comfortable fullback. This is how starving we have been in such a long, long time. Starving. Yeah, for someone that can actually play some decent ball and defended really, really well and some good combinations at that. Am I going to absolutely guess this up like we just won 5-0? Absolutely. Why not? How dare you tell me how to celebrate? Don't police my feelings, yeah? All right? But, you know, at the first half, we should have absolutely killed them off. I don't really remember much of the opportunities that they had. I don't actually think they had anything on goal other than Anana tipping it over the bar. Um... I think that was from a Tete shot. It was kind of free. No one was closing him. It was just unexpected. I believe that was the first half, if I remember correctly. But, you know, Bruno Fernandes, two goals. Come on, in on goal, two one-on-ones. Credit, one of them was a little bit more difficult than the other, but he could have definitely scored. And Casemiro, free shot, edge of the box, bread and butter, man. I've seen him, I've seen him do it before. Even the header that was at the back post, bit, better connection, but we should at least been 2-0 up in fairness. You know, pressing, you know what? I think you need to big up the press and the shape because we played high. We didn't really fall backwards um, after the 20th minute. We got went further forward. Yes, they were sitting deep and we kind of find it. We found it a little bit hard to, to break them down in some moments, but some good combinations, some confidence. You know, you got to credit Ten Hag and, what, and the team, obviously, Rude Van Nistelrooy. We're going to have the negative say that was all Rude Van Nistelrooy. But that, at the end of the day, he set that team out to win that game. And I think we were a much better team in both halves overall, I'm not going to lie. You can't sit here and tell me, oh, you only won one nil. Why are you getting gassed? The same people that were telling me that we were going to lose today. The same ones. But I don't want to hear it. I don't want to smell it. So on that notice, you can hold that one. We got three points and we're top of the league. And at that point, anyways, you got to give us some credit. I'll always give your teams credit if you played well. Like the thing is, people say, oh, you know, Man United can't play football. Man United don't have a style. Then what was that? Because I saw combinations, simple things like pass and move, pressing, keeping the shape. You know what? People call Rashford lazy, but what do you call that then? Because he worked his socks off to get back, especially for Traore. You know, he was the one that was looking like he was the ultimate threat. Yes, second half, we got a little bit lucky. I understand that notice because I remember there was a 2v1 situation when Garnacho dived or something. But yeah. I loved everything about it, the press and the team shape. And you know what? The team spirit, It kind of, even the Old Trafford crowd was serious, roaring. You got to big up the match goers there because you know what that made me feel like? It made me feel like that first game back at Old Trafford. No, sorry, not even the first game, but you could say the second or third game of the first season, Ten Hag arrived. Like at any given moment, I wasn't really nervous with the defence. I don't know about you lot that support Man United, but I didn't feel nervous. I thought, you know what? I feel comfortable today. Even when Evans and Delic come on, you know what? We changed our centre-back pairing and it still looked good. Credit, Lissandro went down to the left and furthermore, but it was still solid. And you know what? 
he had to bring on some other, you know, substitutions. The one that we want to see as our main striker, who you can see dropping deep, linking up play in the second half anyways, you know, is that Xerxes. But you know what? People weren't going to give credit. Harry Maguire was absolutely solid today. He absolutely saved our skins as well. And you're going to have to give him some credit. He looks like he might be able to be a great fourth choice defender at this rate. Third choice at this rate, even. You know, Lissandro looking fit and whatnot. Maserawi looking solid. The low won't get a lot of plaudits, but he done his job. In my opinion, he linked up really well with Rashford. I like to see that as well. So yeah, Ahmed he got a little bit tired. You can see the second half, Fulham came out first seven minutes like all over us, I would say, in, in a way. And then they grew into the game around the 70th minute. It was kind of back and forward, back and forward. But then we had that chance with Mason Mount around the 50-odd minutes. And that, that was the one where Rashford, credit maybe some luck that he should have probably like skied that right into the roof of the net. We could have been running away with this. You know, Fulham provided some dangerous corners. But look at that. Man United, Casemiro, like I haven't been his biggest fan. He was absolutely rock solid. He looked fit, sharp, and he looked like he was up for it. Some moments he did lose it, but team work for one another. This is what you call a positive outlook. I thought we played really well and the performance for me was enough, especially being the first game of the Premier League, eight o'clock in the UK time under the lights. You know, th that this game meant everything. This is one that's set in stone going forward. I knew he was always going to score. At some point it had to give. And Xerxes, oh my word, that finish was sublime. There's me thinking, wait, is there a deflection of a Calvin Bassey? Now, what do you call that? Scruff cross directed to the bottom bins, proper center forward play. You do know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, Xerxes, wow. Like, you know what? He wasn't really getting into the game. I'm kind of getting excited as I'm talking because you can tell I'm not really slowing down with my words. But it's just that after he came on, it was like, come on, get this guy into the play. Like, let him get comfortable. A few passes, we weren't doing it. And as soon as he got into the game a little bit more, about 10 minutes around the 70th minute, 75th minute. It's like, cool, this guy looked like he can play sharp turns. You know, the through ball to Garnacho, which we scruffed in the end. You know, it was absolutely divine. And I'm not going to lie, I'm interested in for the next game. Next game is tough. We'll get there. We'll see how it goes. we got Liverpool in a couple of weeks as well. we got the whole weekend to enjoy ourselves, right? You know what? Who else do we even need to credit? You know, some... Mm, I'm trying to think, Bruno Fernandes, other than his finishing, usually that's his good part. But today, his overall play, nice. I like, you know what? I was actually very, I just enjoyed it from pretty much start to finish. I was just, it's just been a long time since you see something like that going forward, winning the ball back after how long. You had to give them some moments for our players to get a breather. But I am excited for the future. I need to see a couple more midfielders as well, you know, just to get some legs in and around because the quality is not all there. But you know, Mason Mount, you know, pat on the back. Not the smoke, best performance. Pressing wise, good. Second half came a little bit alive. But good substitutions in the end. Garnacho, that was unfortunate. I thought we could have obviously got us a goal and created another one. But we move on to the next game. Three points. Let's wait and see what happens with the likes of Liverpool at 12.30 tomorrow. Top of the league, lads. And the debts, yeah? All right. But make sure you smash the like button. If I've missed anything out, comments below. Let me know.